Hi there! Today I'm going to do a product review of an oil paint that I really love. Welcome back to the studio. So today I'm excited about giving you my very first product review. And I haven't really thought about doing these in particular, um, but I was just at my favorite locally owned art store uh, here in Honolulu, Hawaiian Graphics, shout out. Um, and uh, I was there grabbing just some other, you know, whatever, not paint. And so of course I went in and totally impulse bought like a bunch of paint, <laughs> um, oil paint to be specific. And um, this company, M. Graham and Company, is an oil paint brand that I did not even realize how much I loved until I kind of like paid attention. You know, I, I'm sure I'm not the only one who goes out and when you go to the art store, like, I mean, I've moved past like student grade. I don't like to buy like, you know, the Winsor Newton student, that kind of thing anymore. But, you know, I can't afford the most expensive, fanciest, fanciest, fancy. So uh, usually I'll just go to the art store and whatever they have on sale or whatever I need, you know, I kind of keep an eye out and get. Um, but I just kind of realized when I was at the art store the other day, I looked at this label and this, oh, there goes one, this, the Naples Yellow. I bought this kind of on an impulse, this color, actually right here, a few months ago. Um, I think it was like on sale or something, and I was like, oh, I could use a new yellow, I'm like getting light. So I buy this, and I freaking love it. It's like this nice, like kind of warm, kind of like, I don't even know, like a hay colored sort of yellowish kind of is what I'm thinking. Um, but I just love it, like I started using it in everything. I used it in both of these skin tones. Um, you can see definitely in the like, warmer yellows. I also used it in the background here. Um, these two were actually painted before I got my hands on this, but since I have bought this, I have used it in every single painting that I have done. I think it's been like four or five paintings total. And I'm finding it, like I said, in skin tones, backgrounds, whatever. Like I use this in a few places just to kind of give some variation to the blue in the background as well, like very light. Oh, look, there it is again. I use this as well as I think some cadmium yellow deep or whatever on her dress, um, and probably some lemon yellow too. But uh, but yeah, so that's kind of what started it for me. Um, and then I was kind of paying attention to this brand, and then lo and behold, I realized that I have two other paints that are this brand because like I said I don't usually always have the money to kind of pay attention to which brands I want I'm just kind of like oh that's good and not total crap so that's a winner but I realized after how much I enjoyed this I look back and I'm like oh my god this has been some of the best quality titanium white I've ever had like seriously you think oh just white boring oil paint but no actually whites can make a big difference when it comes to you know thickening or blending or how much they dilute or whatever and I have really seriously, as you can tell, almost completely used up, but very much loved this brand of titanium white. And then this cobalt blue I got not too long ago, and I remember too, I'm like, wow, this is incredible. I think I just found a new love, and they're not super duper expensive, you know, like even the cadmiums and stuff were like in the $30, $35 range, which is pretty good, because I mean, I've seen cadmiums, you know, $50, $70 plus, whatever. So. I really like that and I wound up coming home and doing a little research online. I was like, okay, who is this company? Why, you know, what, what's the deal? You know, like, I actually, well, I have to say, I looked them up on Instagram and they're not there, which they should be, but um, I then looked them up online and um, it turns out that they are a, a US company, woo um, based out of Oregon and they've been in business, like, not that long, like 25-ish or so years or something like that. Um, but I love their business model. Okay, get this, they're really awesome. So, all of their pigments use only walnut oil. So, no chemical impure solvents go into the paint, as well as none are used at their factory either, which is awesome. Like, the whole factory is totally like an ideal green standard they buy like reputable carbon offsets to you know help their carbon footprint they 
uh, have like a, this like water filtration system where they 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 use it you know for a while and then they are able to clean it and release it you know out safely and um, they have a business model where they only create one percent waste versus uh, the industry standard of three percent waste. So. If you've seen any of my vlogs or vlogs before, you know that I am all about saving that Mother Earth. You know what I mean? Whatever we can do to be cleaner, greener, to reuse, recycle, make less trash, make less plastic, all those good things. I love, 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 love. So the fact that I come home with this paint that's not super expensive, that I have been absolutely loving and I feel like has really like helped transform some of my works, and then I find out that they're like totally eco-conscious, just the same way I am. Okay, so I am really, really in love with the M. Graham and Company. So I want to kind of give you a little demo, and I'm going to show you like just how wonderfully and beautifully this flows coming out of the tube, as well as just like on your paintbrush or whatever. It is just a lovely experience all around. So, anyways, um, oh, P.S. I'm not actually like paid to rep them or anything, although I wouldn't mind repping them at some point one day, but this is totally off my own head and heart that I'm, I'm hooking you guys up with the product review today. So anyways, I'm going to pull out some of these and show you what I'm talking about. Yeah! I'll be comparing my new M. Graham paint with another classic paint that I had in my stash already. It is a medium to high grade brand and I'm choosing not to release its name just in the name of politeness but I'm sure everybody has run across this paint and probably has at least a couple of tubes in their art box as well. I'm just going to call it Brand X and as far as the colors matching they absolutely do. The only difference is that one of them is called Terra Rosa and the other one is using the way less culturally sensitive Indian Red. Other than that, they are the exact same hue. Okay, so for this experiment I'm going to use two little brushes that are exactly the same and they will both start out dry. That way the oil or terpenoid in one paint will not affect the other one. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and do the what I'm going to call the smoothness test. I particularly like a paint that is quite smooth and fluid and ready to use right out of the tube so I don't have to use a lot of medium. Um, this is going to be my M. Graham and then I will have my other brush with my Brand X pigment. So for M. Graham, if I pull a nice little bit of paint out, you can see it's a nice little chunk but it's not huge. I can start painting and look at that and just go and go and go, flip my brush around, go, look how solid that comes out right off the bat, right? Of course you're always going to get a little bit on the side of not quite as solid, but that looks nice. Those first few strokes were incredible. Now if we try our other brand, which is a bit stiffer, I'm going to put about as much on there, oh let me get it so you can see about the same amount and I put it on and immediately it scumbles immediately look at that now of course I can go back in and really make it over and over there we go look at that to fill it in oh my goodness even I was expecting a little better than this <laughs> There we go. See, how many more strokes did it take to fill that in? And now I've spent all this time filling and who knows what my other color is that I will be blending to. So personally, I very much prefer the nice smooth. I'm going to try that one more time. So get a nice little bit of my M. Graham and it just felt so good. I'll just do it right next to it and look at that. Bam, all the way down. One, two, all that, three four all together. Four strokes and I can fill in that space. Now I'm going to take four strokes out of my Brand X over here. Got about the same amount. We'll see what four strokes looks like. Just four strokes down. So one, two, turning it, three, four. Look at the difference in four strokes. So let's just see. So that's four strokes. So then five, six, seven, eight, 
nine, ten and a half, <laughs> eleven. There we go, twelve almost. We'll say eleven or twelve strokes to get the coverage of four strokes of M gram. And with that, I'm spending all my time just trying to fill in who's got time to even blend with whatever color you need. So I see, I see which one I like on this. Oh, I don't want to use that. <laughs> there we go, a little heart. Heart by the winner. Now I'm going to perform a traditional tint test comparing both of these paints to see which one has the highest pigment concentration. This test is performed by mixing equal parts 50% colored paint and 50% white paint, mixing them and seeing how deep the color remains. Alright, even though it's pretty apparent which one's pigment is thicker, let's go ahead and paint it out and see what it looks like. So here we've got M gram. Oh, I've switched sides on you, so now you'll have to remember that. So this is M gram, and this is M gram on the tinted paper, and this is mixed with about 50-50 white. Look at that. Look at how close it is to the original. That is very pigment rich. All right, now using my other clean brush, let's try out Brand X over here. Oh my goodness. Oh wow, that's like mauve compared to the M gram and just to see it on the gray also. Wow, look at that. What a difference. That is the same amount of white mixed with this paint right here. And look at that, out of the tube, the, the tone is very, very similar. So you think, oh, that's okay, I can just go with whatever brand because it's gonna look the same on canvas or on linen as I like to paint with. But once you start really kind of doing some tests, you see this one goes on way more thickly and evenly, way more easily, flows way better. This takes four times, three or four times as many strokes to get on. And then when you add some white, that is just incredible, the difference. Now I have one more test for you. I left out both of these pigments about three or four days ago when I was working on my last piece. Um, I try to work consistently with my paints when they are wet on whatever piece of whatever painting I'm working on, but of course you can't always plan ahead and sometimes something comes up and I have a couple of days. And so one thing I love about the M Gram, this beautiful cobalt, is that it stays wet for days. So I just wanna show you this. This is from another company, not the same as the Terra Rosa or the less fancifully named Indian Red, but this is another very well-known company that you would definitely recognize. So if you see, this has got a pretty hard shell on it. Now the paint is kind of, there's a little something there. You can kind of, I always kind of hit it and smear it. This is kind of what I do. And I pull it up and kind of get under there and then I can still use the paint, right? So you can kind of dig something out, you know, once you get that hard shell off the top. But look, if I touch my finger on the top of that paint, I mean, it's not wet paint. It is a hard little shell that a few little microns came off of. But when I come to my lovely M. Graham over here, check this out. It is like still basically as wet as the day that I laid it out. Now, I love this because the reason I choose to paint with oil paints instead of acrylic is that I love this low dry time. So the fact that I can come back to my M. Graham paints 48, 72, maybe plus hours later and they are still perfectly good and perfectly ready to use is incredible. That means it's gonna save me a lot of money because I don't have to scrape off a big part of it and it's gonna save me time as far as mixing. I can mix, you know, whatever color I need for whatever painting and then it will stay good for a few days. I just love this. I mean, I'll do the little finger test, but you can see, I mean, that is totally wet, beautifully, liquid paint. So hopefully now you can see why I love, 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 love this brand of oil paint so much. They are so silky smooth right out of the bottle. Like I kind of prefer to use my paints for the most part right out of the tube and I don't usually put a lot of like oils in with them. So I love that these already have some in there. So it's just, oh, buttery smooth. Um, but one more thing I thought was really cool. Like I love 
that these guys tell you what is in the tube you're getting. So most oil paints tell you like transparent, semi-opaque, opaque, you know, that kind of thing, which these do. They tell you the light fastness, which is good. You know, you want to know how it's going to look, how long it's going to last, that kind of thing. Um, but the cool thing about M. Graham and Company is they actually put, like, what is the makeup of the pigments in there, which I think is just really fascinating. As a painter, I'm, you know, I'm curious, like, how did this color come to be? What is that, you know? So, like, for this one, turquoise, it's copper phyllocyanine and chlorinated copper phyllocyanide. I don't know what those things are, but I could totally look it up and find out. You know, I got my Haynes Gray, one of the my best, best, best paints ever. And it is amorphous carbon and silicates of sodium aluminum with sulfur. Wow, so fascinating, right? Um, I got my my cadmium yellow, of course, we know that's gonna have cadmium in it, but it's cadmium zinc sulfide. So just a few examples. I just think it's really fascinating to find out kind of what are in the pigments. I actually had a little pigment making excursion. I made a couple of tubes of my old oil paint when I was in graduate school, and that was really awesome. You know, they had the pigments and we had to grind it down with the thing and the oil, and yeah, I can see why people pay other people to do that because it is definitely a big job. But anyways, I will leave links down below to M. Graham's company. I highly recommend you check out the website. It's really cool. They have little demonstrations and short little videos all about like who they are and what their process is. And um, yeah, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoy these paints. Please leave me some feedback. Do you like my product reviews? Should I do more? Did you like this paint in particular? Have you used any before? Are you going to go buy some now? You know, let me know what you think. And um, of course, always please thumbs up and subscribe. It lets me know to keep making these videos. So, mwah, thank you so much. I will see you next time. Bye.